Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my RV adventure with my dog Juju. Today we're going to take you to Koyasan. It's a large temple complex where actual monks live and practice Buddhism. Before COVID, you could also choose to stay here overnight at one of the temples. It's called Temple Lodging. You can experience the life of a monk, getting up early to join the prayers, eating vegetables only, and heading to bed when the sun is down. Obviously, that's not an option now in 2020. I mean, even if it were an option, <laughs> count me out. I had been a vegetarian for over 10 years. I think I've got my fair share of vegetables. Do you hear that? Real monks actually live here and practice their religion. These are for people to sit. to sit on someone's hand, warm and protected. Green, look at this. Beautiful. It's so quiet here. Although there weren't strict rules, but I felt obligated to speak in a quiet voice the whole time. Maybe that's the tempo effect. So this temple complex was built a thousand years ago by a monk named Ku Kai. The word Kukai means sky and ocean. Mr. Nature then went to China to study Buddhism, graduated with high distinction, and came back to Japan. He was also the person who invented the Japanese alphabets. These alphabets are used by Japanese people so so often today, even more so than kanjis. These stone lamps are really nice. They look like the ones in the gate is said to be the oldest structure in this temple, which was built in 16th century. The temple has been burned down by fire two or three times and reconstructed, but it's closed, so you can't really go in. Sneak peek through the door. It's not very clear, but see? That's the temple inside. What else can we see? I think that's it. Unfortunately, we arrived there too late in the day and ran out of time to visit all the temples. Kukai Monk was actually buried at a nearby site called Okunoin, if you're interested to visit. It's a little bit further out, so you need to take a bus there. We did, however, see the beautiful Danjo Galan temple complex with different styles of buildings. Personally, I really like this red one here. So how do you think of today's temple tour? Which temple do you like the most? Mm, I think Gigi likes the ones that he peed on the most. 